Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And today it's a 1965 Kennedy half. It's still worth money because this one, it's not 90% silver, but it is 40% silver. So it's still worth a few bucks, three or four bucks just in silver. It says Liberty at the top in God in front of Kennedy. Uh, we trust from his neck back. And then if we look way, way up in here, we see a G and an R and that's for Gilroy Roberts who was the engraver of this coin. We also see these little chunk marks on there, and that's actually from another half dollar hitting this coin. See them right on the side of the neck? And so these coins, when they get made at the mint, they get poured into like a hopper, and it kind of cleans them and separates them out. And when they get poured into the hopper, they hit each other sometimes pretty hard, or else with a lot of weight behind them, and you make these marks. So this still would be graded very highly, even though it has those marks, because that's standard for coming out of the mint. You see we're getting a little color here, but that's probably color from the plastic wrapper that it was in rather than uh, any kind of toning. We tip it up and if you tip it just at the right angle, you can see a little bit of brown in there from the copper, but in reality it's hard to see. If we tip it over to the back and we see it says United States of America at the top, half dollar here. Way down in there you can see some a lettering and that is not the mint mark. So you notice we didn't have a mint mark on the front nothing in here. We don't have a mint mark on the back and it would be right down in here in the old ones but right there we have an F and a G and of course that's for Frank Gasparro who was the engraver of this coin. This coin is just magnificent when you look at it isn't it? The eagle holding the banner it says E Pluribus Unum, the stars then the 50 stars around the outside holding an olive branch in its right claws, arrows in its left claws with a shield down its middle and uh, olive branch for peace arrows for war, eagle for strength, and this is of course the symbol of the United States of America when it's in color. It's a red, white, and blue shield. This coin was first made in 1964 and they made it for one year out of 90% silver and then the next year they went to the 40% silver for the half dollar, but for the quarter, and here's a quarter, they went to a copper nickel clad copper. So the only coin in 1965 that was made of silver that was circulating was the 40% half dollar. Now the half dollar is an interesting idea. We don't use them much anymore, but we've had them for a long time. You know, we didn't really get the half dollar from Great Britain. A lot of people say, well, you got all our coins and all our numbers from Great Britain, but we really didn't because Great Britain didn't have a half dollar. They did have something called a, a half crown and they had stuff called shillings, but they did not have a half. Half crown was worth one eighth of a pound. There was no valuation that was worth a half pound. And this of course was a shilling which was worth 12 pence. It turns out there were 240 pence in a pound. And notice this is close to the same, almost the same size. They actually have a coin that's almost exactly the same size from 1965 in the United Kingdom. And it's this one. Look at that. You know what, what does this, this coin is? They call it a copper. Well, it's the penny. It is a Mary Gillett first portrait on there. Just a great first portrait of the queen when she was 29 years old. When we tip it over, we see it says 1965. Britannia seated with a trident, lighthouse behind her, ocean in front of her, one penny, 1965. So the one penny from the United Kingdom in 1965 was about the same size as our half dollar coin. Imagine trying to buy something for 70 cents or 70 pennies, it wasn't cents, or 70 pence you would call it. That would be rough if you had to carry 70 of them. So what you did was you carried some of these which are worth 12 and you only had to carry six of these for 72 pence. And not only was the penny big, but look at the half penny. So this was worth one 240th, I mean one 480th of a pound. So there was almost 500 of these to a pound, which is a, a you know worth a little bit more than a dollar U.S. And of course, same Mary Gillick portrait. But anyways, back to the Kennedy. This Kennedy does not have a mint mark on it because in 1965, to discourage collectors from collecting the different mints, they took mint marks off the coins. So 65, 66, and 67, there are no mint marks on any of the United States coins and so you can look until the cows come home and you're not going to see a mint mark on this coin. What's it worth? What's its value? Well it's actually interesting. It actually is rather valuable. Three to four dollars in silver alone. If you can get one of these and you can get it from the special mint set 
which this one was, it could be worth six, seven, or ten dollars, or perhaps even more if you got it graded. The problem with getting it graded, as we always know, is it might cost 15 or 20 bucks to get it graded, and guess what? It might only be grading it and making it worth 10 bucks. So generally you don't grade coins unless they're significantly more valuable than it costs to grade them. All right, well that's all we have today from the Kennedy half, the first 40% silver. There were no mint marks on it from 60, five through 67, but this maintained its silver 40% until 1970. So if 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 and 70, look for those halves. You see them at the bank once in a while in their 40% silver. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. I collect British coins too, especially these big old pennies. So weird that it made something that big and they made 240 of those to a pound. Leave any comments you might have in the comments section.